Phones on. <laughs> Little Grass Jack, my little memory. Well, about a wrap over there, just filming. Uh, now we get the brothers in the house from Green Bottles Union. Uh, Green Bottle Union. Uh, Ole and uh, Uncle Willie. How's it, guys? Uh, Hello. How are you doing? Good morning. Yeah, you gotta, morning. gotta talk straight in the mic, though. There you go. Oh, Hello, everybody. Good, good morning. morning. I like that. It's Portuguese. Pull, pull the mic to you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there, there, there. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you guys. I can hear you guys. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, welcome to uh, the, <laughs> the little grass right, shack, bro. I get these guys on early, but you know what? A Hawaiian word of the day for July 7th was going to be Uncle Willie. Uncle Willie going to give us, uh, Uncle Willie Silva going to give us a guy on Hawaiian word. The word of the day. Yeah, the, word of the, the Hawaiian word of the day. Hana Inu. Hana Inu. The kids always go out, get into car, all kind of Hana Inu, like. Mischief, trouble, whatever. Yeah, that's the Hawaiian word of the day. Inu, uh, mischief, mischievous. That's what it is. <laughs> hey, we're gonna talk story with these guys, man, and more. Um, uh, you know, what they're gonna be doing in Las, uh, what they're doing in Las Vegas, how they came to Las Vegas. It's all coming up uh, in a few, so you guys stay tuned. Right there's that summer lady at CK of the uh, CD title, the Ilua 1036 Little Grand Shack. Uh, today it looks like uh, it's gonna be a. Uh, uh, oh, it's gonna be a hot one. It's gonna be hot or hold it. <laughs> you be, know that. You know. <laughs> it's already hot. <laughs> it's already hot. Uh, right now uh, it is 88 degrees in the uh, Las Vegas Valley. Um, 102. 102 uh, predicted that for today. Uh, tonight's uh, mostly clear at the low of 76. Uh, but right now we've got uh, Green Bottle, you and Uncle Willie, and uh, Holly in the yeah, little grass shack. How's it, guys? How you doing? Aloha. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Right. I know these guys, it's hard to get things. You guys get, they get a mean schedule. Eh? You guys uh, work during the day. You guys get normal jobs, right? Yes. Yeah. And then, um, uh, and you guys just play music as a, uh, I mean, I, I've heard you guys jam in the garage and that one baby party we just <laughs> talked about. And uh, it, it just, uh, all the music you guys play, man, it just, so, so we do here in, in, in the little grass shack. Um, uh, but uh, let's let the, <laughs> the audience know what, uh, we, what kind, what school you guys represent? Uh, camp school, Campbell. You? <laughs> 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 That's a good one, I was like, 1993. 1993. Campbell. Campbell. I'll go. I, yeah. 1975. 1975. <laughs> you know what? That's wisdom right there, bro. That's wisdom right That's there. That's old. <laughs> <laughs> I say wisdom, he says old. Um, no, but, uh, you know, uh, I've uh, known you for, uh, you know, sometimes. I mean, as well as all that. You guys uh, used to play music with uh, one of my uncles and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, how'd you guys get to Las Vegas, man? I mean, what, what, what made you uh, guys come to Las Vegas? Prices. Prices? Yes. Yes, what it is? Prices. For me, I followed my wife, my beautiful wife, Sharice. Yeah. So, figure I was young and might as well holo holo, give yeah. them. Been 19 years already. 19 <laughs> years? What about you, uncle? 28 years. 28. I think I said 38. You got me beat. <laughs> I know you was here longer. Yeah, I was, I've been here a long time. Because you was hanging with my daughter then back in like oh, yeah. 91, right here, 92. At, at UNLV. Was here? Yeah, UNLV. I've been at UNLV. No, no, you know what? She no. used to go to high school at Green Valley, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... And Chad uh, then. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Chad and... Uh, Before your shirt thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I, I mean, I well, oh, you can get them this way. <laughs> well, you know what? You guys came to uh, Las Vegas, obviously, you said for the pricing, and you said you follow your wife. Um, but, um, you know, what field or what kind of career you guys uh, ventured into in Las Vegas? I mean, everybody got to work, you know what I mean? Uh, me, I, I mean, I started as a janitor. I tell you, right, I used to clean toilets at the community college of Southern Nevada. Hey, uh, it was a job, you know. It was a job. That's what it was. And, uh, you know, obviously, I got tired of the state. But <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, you guys, uh, your your profession, your trade. Uh, but uh, I work for large large format printing. Uh, our company is called West Rock. We do all the large billboards out here. Oh, plates, really? Yeah, oh. all on the strip, oh, all cool. over town. Yeah, let's get a heights. Uh, East Coast, West yeah. Coast. Let's get a heights. He print them. Oh, he print them. Oh he yeah, you got the one going down. Right on the big one. <laughs> you cannot get him to work in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. We get a hard time getting him to play music outside. <laughs> he ain't gonna work outside. Hey, you guys remember that? If you guys hired him, gotta be inside or indoors in the contract. Uh, what about you, Uncle? Only yo yo's like me work outside. You gonna work outside? I came up here working airlines. Uh huh. 
And then I got tired 18 and a half years airlines. Uh -huh. I quit. I went air conditioning school. Wow. Been air conditioning now 22 years. 22 years. I work for the county. Oh, right on. And you said state. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> I know <yeah>. why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, it's, it's, it wasn't a bad job. It was just for myself. Uh, a lot of politics and stuff like that. And then I kind of just fell into the, you know, that gap of, uh, you know, what? do I really want to, you know, progress? And uh, make a move, and it's been good. It's been a good move, and it's uh, you know a lot of learning. Uh, the state is not a bad job. Don't, don't get me wrong, but uh, they taught me a lot. It's just who runs it? <laughs> the state's good. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good. Just who runs it is <laughs> kind of lousy. <laughs> oh man! So you guys came to Las Vegas. Obviously, you guys got some years under your belt. Um, with the progression of uh, you know island people, have you seen it in Las Vegas? Oh me. Oh, oh me. yeah. Me. Yeah. So you guys, uh, <laughs> when you say it, I mean, it's just like you have families that come in. Is it, hey, I'm moving up here. Is that what is it? Is that had correct? a few family members they survive. They survive. Here. They yep, survive. Still hanging in there. Still hanging in there. <laughs> yeah, some no last. Yeah, bro. The yeah. crap table just gets them. That's what it is, man. Yeah, uh, you know, gotta I, I was... stay away. You gotta stay away from the casino. <laughs> you going back home, <laughs> broke. <laughs> Can't gamble if you live here. That's it, bro. You cannot. <laughs> yeah. uh, gamble is uh, either uh, you know. It's gonna be uh what is that, the keto diet or you're gonna eat rice tonight, bro? Couple noodles for, <laughs> that's, for a the week. One, that's the one. <laughs> Call it asking your neighbor. <laughs> I tell you what, we're gonna talk with these guys uh, more uh, in the uh, upcoming. Oh, actually, in a few. Got his best call upon her, 1047. Uh, yeah, Black Sand. Still in that uh, little grass shack with the uh, Green Bottle Union guys. Uh, Uncle Willie and uh, Ole right here. Uh, how's it, uh, fellas? Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Man, we're just talking story, and uh, Uncle Willis, they're bringing up all. Wow, you used to go, you know, hang out with the guy and uh, my daughter. I was like, oh my goodness. It's the I early. That was old. Yeah, 90s, bro. <laughs> 90s. Yep. The 90s. Early, early 90s. And we talked about, uh, you know, the one of the <laughs> concert places or uh, clubs I used to uh, work at, and, you know, trying to start that local thing. And, man, it kind of brings back a lot of. Of history, um, actually, yeah, you know, it's always been an entertainment for us. You know, being going on 20 years right here in the Little Grass Shack in August makes 20 years, oh. and uh, just all volunteer, all spirit of Aloha, you guys. You know, trying to do it for the people. But uh, you guys, man, you guys been here uh, in Vegas uh, for quite some time, and the, you know, the culture, the food, but the music, the music is where it's at. Why? Because you like party, like put up the soldiers, <laughs> as I would say. Uh, you know, when you guys, uh, when you talk about music, uh, what, you, how long have you been playing music? Uh, hold it. Uh, <laughs> fourth grade. Fourth grade. You took, That's uh, when I learned ukulele. Uh, you took ukulele in school? Ah, uh, no. It was when my teacher, she taught us ukulele. And yeah. I learned from there. In school or just outside? Just you did lessons? Elementary school. Elementary school. Regular class. Regular class. <laughs> See? Wow, and then you guys, and then uh, just ever since you just picked it up. But you played with other bands before when uh, growing up. Oh uh, yes, I played with uh, my good brother Kevin Puahi from Evo Beach. Oh yeah, 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 yeah bro. Yes. Wow. No, yeah, we used to play all over, and um, so when I left Hawaii, I was like, man, I gotta leave all my good friends, all my family, yeah, you know, <laughs> to get ahead and come out here and make new friends. You make know. new friends, yeah. And then, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, you're perpetuating the culture with uh, your music and stuff and your, your style is because you, you get you rip the ukulele, guitar, you play all kinds of instruments, yeah? Oh, I love I love music. I play piano. Uh, I play the cornet, you know. The, yeah, yeah. Nah. the cornet. <laughs> <laughs> cornet or clarinet? Oh, clar no. <laughs> oh, the cornet. Okay, okay, okay. Well, like, oh, you do them slacky. I like, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I love slacky. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, bro. I see some of your posts yeah, and stuff. That, that was, was awesome. actually the first thing I actually learned. Yeah. Slack, yeah. And then my dad taught me a lot also. Yeah. My dad Hano, yeah. Yeah. So when you were growing up, uh, I mean, who was your uh, inspiration? Uh, who's the who's the guy you looked up to? I mean, everybody looked up to well, brother is and uh, obviously um, the old school like well, my sons of Nihau. Uh, you know, for me it was like uh, uh, literally uh, <laughs> Gary Pahi knew it. I mean, uh, the, for me that when you you guys ripped that man, I just yeah. I like cry, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> but um, you know who's the one inspired you? Well, a originally it was uh, my father, my dad, Hano Cornwell, and um, and actually a uh, literary Kaapana. Literary Kaapana, yeah. When yeah. I saw him play, I was like, whoa! 
That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, <laughs> bro. That guy. Oh, who you want, Hannah? I mean, I just love it, all that stuff. Um, what about you, Uncle Willie? I mean, who inspired you to uh, start, you know, get into music or you just picked it up by it? I was my mom and them when we were a small kid, no had TV. Yeah. yeah. So we had to do music after dinner. Uh huh. Because nowadays you sit down, kids on the computer or yeah. watch TV. We never had TV, so. My sister would play ukulele or piano, my mother would play piano, my father ukulele, harmonica, me guitar, ukulele. Mm -hmm. And then started going to different people's houses, you know, because my mother's family, you know, choke musicians. Uh -huh. Then ended up hooking up plenty with, um, with had choke. Oh. Um, <laughs> Kind of capilla, kind of capilla kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not on stage kind, but yeah. go to the house. Yeah, yeah, just cruise. Learn. Um, Watch and learn. Watch yeah. and learn. Then yeah. I had Puerto question. Rican yeah. friends, so one guy plays spoons. Uh -huh. Oh, watch him go. And that instrument, you can take him every place you go. Right, right. it's in your pocket. pocket. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> learn that stuff. Uh, Sonny Chillingward, go to his house, sit in the kitchen, just Ooh. watch all. That's the days with um, God had. Genoa's son playing with him. He's back in the late 70s. Yeah. He was living Pearl City. Um, so you used to, what you used to live then? I yeah. I yeah, that's right. He ever, I I yeah. Right on. <laughs> um, ever planes. Ever planes. Hot over there. Right. <laughs> Not hot like Vegas though, right? <laughs> Pretty Played close. music kind of, kind of long back home. So, uh, you know, uh, when you guys were up here and uh, kind of perpetuating the culture, um, uh, I mean, how did you guys form this group that you guys uh, come to know as Green Bottle Union? Howley and I, we played with everybody. Yeah. And we tried making other bands, but the thing always veered, not the plan right, right. we had. We wanted to, like you said earlier, oh, I listen to you guys play, sometimes I'll like cry. Yeah. You know, that's the exact words I told these guys. If we can make the audience cry, just one person, mm -hmm. we did our job because all I like to do is make this kind of music for the, these people reminisce when they were small. Yep. Because you might not be in the garage sitting there, but you running around outside, Uncle Auntie them in the garage, you stay on record. Right. You know the music they're playing because one time I had some guys came over my garage. Yeah. And I tell how like, oh, we don't play Hawaiian because they're kind of young. I don't think, they, nah, they want Manalo boys, bro. They gonna know. And I'll be darned. Yeah. They knew all the songs that we was playing. <laughs> and they're young. So it, they, yeah. they reminisce. Right. I mean, you know, for you myself, uh, uh, how I got into this, uh, I used to love uh, hip hop music. You know, I never really cared about Hawaiian music, but my father would play this over and over and over in the house, you know, in Minnesota or Okinawa or, you know, all over, because eh? we took the culture with us. And, um, you know, obviously I got tired when I was a kid, but when I got older, I learned to appreciate uh, the music that he put together. And, you know, that's one thing I had to give to my father. I mean, he come here all, every Saturday and, uh, you know, help out and listen, you know, <laughs> listen to you guys uh, call in and request but um but i do understand what you say you know like running around and just cruising i think we're going to get back with these guys uh, in a little bit <laughs> they're going to jam in the station bro uh, oh, let me get let me get you go out on uh, yeah it's all professional over here we got the uncle willie and uh holding the uh, little grass shack uh, we talked about music Talked about them uh, being in, uh, you know, Las Vegas. <laughs> Talked about work. Oh my goodness, no. Work, work. <laughs> Gotta love work, guys. But, uh, you know, uh, you guys put this uh, band together, Green Bottle Union. How long have you guys been together? One year, three months. One Four year, months. three months? Yeah. And uh, I see you guys, uh, you know, obviously on uh, Facebook, um, doing the, uh, always playing in the garage, bro. <laughs> And then you at home, uh, all the, yeah. you're cruising. And, uh, I love playing music, man. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but uh, you know, to share, uh, well, you know, you know, your family, Ohana, or the, your Facebook, Ohana. But uh, when I, you know, check in, especially where I work at, and I look at you guys, it's like, man, I just like drink. <laughs> <laughs> Curse so, music. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I'm still out of training, but I just, you know, it's so relaxing the vibe. You know what I mean? Uh, we've, uh, I've listened to you guys, uh, you know, a few times, and I've uh, been uh, very uh, appreciative to what you guys do. Uh, so, uh, what's what's new with the Green Bottle? You guys got anything? Any upcoming events or anything? Or no, just cruising? Nothing really. We trying to stay with private parties. Yeah. Some people keep calling us for go play their restaurant stuff like that. Yeah. We might go back to one of them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, um, I mean, obviously, uh, a lot of people have, uh, you know, listed the Rashag, and you guys got one of those 
hookups is those beautiful i mean for people to enjoy your music and um uh, continue to uh, call you guys every year now yeah so uh, you know when you guys uh I'm going to vouch for you. Oh, you guys are going to listen to these guys in a little bit, and uh, they're going to play music. Uh, but yet, if you guys want to get a hooked up and connected, how, how are they going to get a hold of you guys? Is it like reserved for party? Either Facebook or you can put phone number. Yeah, you can put phone number. If you like, give you a phone number uh, for 10,000 people out there. Go ahead. I don't care. 702 <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, we'll get that information up to you folks. Uh, but uh, you know what? We're just cruising in a little grass shack. Um, what? You ready? Forgive them. You like, give them. Can, can. Can or, try. You can try. Or Emory, call Kings Emory at the radio station. Yeah, you can <laughs> call us. Don't worry. You can get a hold of us at the little grass shack. Garen's program. Okay, let me, let me turn this down and maybe we'll get these guys, get the brown over here. He's going to jam. We'll go jam. We'll go jam. We'll jam. Can, can. Cocktail waitress right now. <laughs> <laughs> See? Scala. All right. Can something about? Yeah, go ahead, brother. You know, um, a year ago, this company when contact me. Oh yeah. Folks, KLOS. Uh huh. And uh, they offered endorsement for Green Bottle Union. Wow. So got them endorsed because in '09 I got contacted by Volcano Percussion. Uh huh. And they ended up endorsing me with the core mangoes. Wow. And my wife never even knew I was endorsed because one time I was going to the, <laughs> the site and my wife goes, How come your pictures stay in there? Oh, because all the guys they endorse stay yeah, on there. Yeah. What do you mean all the guys they endorse? Yeah, I was endorsed from 09 when I got the drums. Oh, wow. I wasn't happy. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> but anyway, um, Close Swingle endorsed the band so we get ukes and guitars from there. And we like it because carbon fiber, yeah, and living in this you town. Know, you know, I was looking at that. It's like, wow. Yeah, because uh, wood, the thing expands yeah, 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 and yeah. shrink, yeah. This thing no moves. I have to get so. the green one. Yeah, wow. so you have to get the, <laughs> the green, green one. The green bottle. The green bottle. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, uh, you know, you, 
you guys do such awesome work uh, and uh, always uh, a pleasure I would love for you guys to come back in the uh, little grass shack and cruise again and um, and do it uh, I wish we gonna party I already know I, <laughs> and we gotta get the cocktail waitress involved though you know what I mean but uh, if you guys wanna uh, get a hold of you guys uh, what is the phone number again? 702-370-3338 or call Emery <laughs> call me uh, <laughs> Facebook Emery Facebook get, yeah Emily can get in touch with us all the time. Yeah. Uh, and when yeah. we play and we party, I'm going to drink, I think, that time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I, I try to represent, you know, when I when I listen to you guys. So, uh, hey, mahalo for you guys coming to uh, the uh, Little Grass Shack. Right there at Green Bottle Union, guys. Uncle William and uh, Ole in the uh, Little Grass Shack. Oh, the Little Grass Shack radio. Tune in, gang. And then, Emery, you got a good job over here. Playing some good music for everybody. Ten to one, is it? Yeah, ten, ten to one. one. To one o'clock. Yeah. Every Sunday. Shoots. Tune in, gang. Little grass shack. Mahalo.